It is Wednesday, people. It's Wednesday, and it is a hot one down here, baby. There's no air going around. We had a little rain come through. Just enough to make it good and sweltering hot where that humidity just shoots sky high. And uh, it's easy to start sweating. It's Wednesday, people. How y'all doing? Hump day. Already over with by the time you see this shit. Uh, we only got two more days after this. Thursday, Friday. Y'all know what I think about Friday. Everybody tries to scoot out a little early on Fridays. So you're only looking at about a day and a half until that ice cold beer and that nice pretty little bud, which you need to save until the weekend now, David. And uh, and, and then we'll, weekend, we'll be into another weekend. Anyway, I'm real happy today. Yes, I am for two reasons. Well, two big reasons today. One, my man, Eric Olguin, won his primary last night uh, against uh, a guy named uh, Barrera, who, uh, who I, I swear, this guy, I never did see him. I seen some signs out on the highway. That's the only thing I ever seen of him. He never showed up at any events to speak. So uh, Eric took it by landslide. And uh, so for the 27th district down here in Texas, I'm tickled to death that the Eric uh, took it for the Democratic Party. Now we're going to have a, an election on uh, June 30th, I believe it is, and uh, we're going to elect us a new congressman. Now, uh, I do have a problem with that. I'll discuss that in a minute. The other thing I'm real happy about is Lupe Valdez won last night in the Democratic primary. Lupe Valdez is the first woman... LGBT woman nominated to by a major party to be governor of a state. Last night in Georgia, look what happened. Man, I'm telling you, this blue wave keeps right on moving. And we need to lift people up. And it will only happen when we do it. And that's my problem. We had a good win last night in my district. We selected the right candidate to, su to support and, and represent this district. But I was looking at the numbers last night, and the Republicans outnumbered the Democrats in the in the numbers on the on the at the polls. We can't have that. That's what I mean by when I say Texas is a non-voting state. There's a lot of people who can vote; they just don't. And especially in primaries and stuff like that, they like to wait for the big ball game and all that stuff. It's all the time, people. We have to be in this game all the time. We can't wait till, the, till, till November and they say, well, I, I guess I'll go vote now. You need to be involved and get other people involved. By last night's number, every Democrat that, vote, that voted last night needs to get two more people to go with him to, when it comes time to, for election. That's how low the number was on the Democratic side. We can't have that. This is a, this is a fight, baby. This is a fight for what we believe is right in every progressive, Democrat, Democrat, middle Democrat, I don't care what you are, independent, you got to come out and vote, and, uh, and vote for Eric O'Gain and Lupe Valdez for governor, that just, that just was a wonderful little cherry on top of the pie last night, that uh, when she got that, I was just tickled to death, so that's what's happening in my neck of the woods, I hope everything's going on up in yours, uh, what else is going on? Well, let me flip my little piece of paper over here because we got a crisis. We have a crisis, people, and it's called what? Spygate. That's right, Spygate. You got to watch out. There's spies everywhere, Donnie. They're right up your ass. Don't you know it, you idiot? Yeah, Donnie's, uh, Donnie's coming up words. He's tweeting out all sorts of shit again today. I swear this man doesn't do any work. Hell no, he's too busy figuring out what he's going to do with Twitter and how he's going to how he's going to relay information back and forth over there to Fox News so they can spread that garbage all over the damn place. Next thing you know, Hannah will be quoting Spygate and Rush Limpdick and Alex Jones. They'll all, oh, it's Spygate. Yeah. Donnie tweeted out, look how things have turned on the criminal deep state. They go on after phony collusion. They go after phony collusion with Russia, a made-up scam, and end up getting caught in, the, in a major spy scandal, the likes of which this country may never have seen before. I roll. 
what goes around comes around. That last line, I just, the irony of him saying that. What goes around comes around, Donnie. You've not been nothing but a con man all your life, a lying, cheating, thieving con man. That's it. You've spread bullshit. You make up, oh, it's Spygate. Everybody's got to have a gate behind everything. Oh, shit. Donnie, turd gate. That's what it should say because that's what we have up in our White House. A turd, a sitting turd. That's how come I say Sarah Sanders comes out and polishes the turd every day to get everything good. Oh, are you shitting me? They turned on the criminal deep state. Ooh, secret society. Just because you're paranoid, Donnie, that doesn't mean they're not out to get you, buddy. It, it's all of them. It, it, it spies. It's, it's a secret society. It's de boo! Are you shitting me, you little weasel? You whiny little bitch. Your campaign it did have a mole, probably. I don't know. We're waiting to hear the whole story. But yeah, somebody in your campaign was spilling the beans, Donnie. Why? Because he saw a Russian hack. He saw a guy that was willing to sell his country out. I believe that's what he reported. Probably said it word for word. He's an asshole. He's going to sell our country out. That's what Donnie does. But he's pushing this shit. He's pushing this into his little minions out there. That's what I worry about. What is he asking for? Because we know Mueller's going to come out with, with criminal charges. Why? Because he's a criminal. He is. He's done it all his life. Any way he can scam or con somebody, that's what he does. And he's, he, he's, he's been sued in civil court and proven to be a sham. Trump University, come give me your money and then get the hell out. That's what Donnie was doing. That's what Donnie's always about. And he went so far as to sell out his country. And somebody in his camp knew it. And somebody was singing like a bird. So now Dan, Donnie wants to expose that person. Expose him and, and, and just have an investigation into the investigation into me. He is, he is a so wannabe dictator. You could see it written all over his face. Everything he does, says, everything he thinks. He wants to be the one in charge of everything. He'll determine what's right, what's wrong. He'll run the Department of Justice. He'll run the FBI. You know, this deep state shit. You know who that is? Anybody that worked for the government before he became president. That's who it is. He doesn't trust anybody. You could have 30, 40 years in the government service. But if you were appointed under a Democrat, oh my God, Donnie's paranoid. you got to get rid of that guy. We can't have anything in here but Republicans. And they have turned out to be just as bad a traitors as Donnie has been. The House Intelligence Committee, are you shitting me? That's an, ex that, that, that's a, it's an oxymoron. There's no intelligence on that committee. They're, they're doing nothing but trying to hide everything they can for Donnie. No, the Republican Party has lost its way. What did I wrote down? Comey. James Comey. Donnie's going on this tirade, attacking our country, attacking the FBI, the Department of Justice. Hell, he taxed people he appointed himself. Why? To start a fire somewhere. So we have to go put that fire out. We're not watching as Donnie burns our country to the ground. Comey wrote on his Twitter, Facts matter. Facts matter. Man, that's a little bit little commercial with CNN's got going a stack of bananas and an apple in there. How do you find it? You start digging. And that's what Donnie's afraid of. Anybody digging into Donnie's shit, Donnie jumps out paranoid. Why? Because he's a criminal. Because he, he, he breaks the law. He, he, he launders money. He takes bribes. All that kind of shit that's illegal. That's what Donnie does. That's his business. That's his businessman. That's his business side. Michael Cohen, too. Oh, ain't he in a world of shit. Facts matter. The FBI's use of confidential human sources, the actual term, is tightly regulated and essential to protecting the country. They're essential for protecting our country because when a whistleblower, a mole, a, a spy, Donnie, 
finds out something, he reports it as a citizen should, as a patriotic American should, and he reports it. And the FBI will ask him, go right back in there and learn some more shit. And that's what they do, Donnie. Isn't it? The FBI didn't send somebody in there. Somebody on your team rolled on you, asshole. How will Republicans explain this to their grandchildren? That's how Comey ended his tweet. How will they explain it? How will they explain this to their grandchildren? How are they explaining it to the world now? Oh, I don't see this. I don't recall that. Uh, I see no this. I see no that. Like the monkeys, I see no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. When evil is right in front of their face. When evil just continues all around them, they say nothing. Yes, we have to clean house, and that's why. Mike Pompeo, the... Secretary of State, the one that's rattling the cage with Iran, you know, we're going to put some financial hurt on them. If that don't work, we'll put some military pressure on them. Because God knows we need a war somewhere. North Korea, Iran, it doesn't matter. We need a new war. John Bolton, that's his shit. That's Pompeo's shit. That's what they want. That's what thrives. That's what. There's money in war, baby. Don't think there's not. There's a lot of money to be made at war. Ask old uh, Prince Boy, old Betsy DeVos's brother. A lot of money, baby, in war. A lot of money in killing people. Oh, Prince, he'd want to, he wants to be the private army of Donnie. He wants a private security firm. Security firm. Yeah. Ever heard of the Gestapo? That's that, what kind of shit they want. They want to hire private security. Not, not Secret Service. No, we, I don't trust them. You know, one of them guys was protecting Obama. That guy over there protected a black man. So no, Donnie probably doesn't trust him. Mike Pompeo was asked, is there a deep state at the, at the Department of State? And Pompeo said, no, there is no deep state. Ain't that some shit, Donnie? You're Secretary of State just told you there is no deep state at secretary of uh, at department of state donnie even though those people were were put in there by obama and probably some of them even by clinton that's donnie you can hear it in his shit when he speaks about the democrats the evil democrats he ain't got a kind word to say to our side i say screw him bury his ass in the truth because the truth, the truth, baby. As Donnie tries to take us over here to Spygate, let's find out who the spy was. We're going to find the truth. That's right, baby. J Jerry Garcia. Jerry Garcia, the name right, might ring a bell for some of us old folks. He, uh, he was the uh, leader of a band we kind of liked. And Jerry always told us, Jerry said, the truth is what you find on your way to someplace else. While we walk down this little spy gate, the deep state, the secret society, all the paranoid crap that Donnie is trying to throw into the fire to get it real big for his white supremacist clan member deplorable minions, his base, he wants to get them riled up. Riled up mad. Look at there. They're trying to frame Donnie. Nobody's trying to frame the asshole. Hell, you can see it in himself. How he talks about shit. Yeah, what'd he tell the Russians? In the Oval Office. Didn't worry about that. I took care of that Comey shit. It's all over with now. You think so, Donnie? You don't feel Mueller breathing down your neck? You don't, you don't feel your asshole puckering because you're scared to shit? They're going to find out the truth, baby. And we will. Jerry Garcia was right. We will find the truth. And when it, we do, it will become public. Public, Donnie, everybody will know you're not a billionaire. Are you shitting me? I bet you're not even barely up around in hundreds of millions, maybe. That's what they're saying, Donnie. People are saying, you're a broke dick sucker, and that's why you sold your country out. It's all Trump's think about. Every one of them. Every, the daddy, the mother, the son, the daughter, all of them. It's money. A privilege for them. They've had it all their life. Serve their country. Screw you. 
I got I got a hurt foot. How about it, boys? How about joining the military there? Uday and Kuse? Uh uh, ain't gonna happen, baby. Privileged money. No. Me? I'm not the fortunate son, baby. I'm not the fortunate son. My brother wasn't the fortunate son. I could list the name of names up in my head that were not fortunate sons. No. They pay the price. Former director of National Security James Clapper said that the, said Donnie should be happy the FBI was spying on him to show what kind of a stinking traitor we've got, what kind of a scumbag was elected in this country. So those who voted for him can look in the mirror and see what they have done. And it ain't pretty, baby. Anyway, what else is going on? Well, speaking about Donnie and his Twitter shit, a federal judge just struck down that Donnie cannot block people. So if you've been blocked by Donnie, and Lord knows I have been trying to get blocked by Donnie. Anybody that reads my tweet, I've called him everything in the book. He's a scumbag. He's, he's a thief. He's a liar. Everything I can think of, you asswipe, I have called him. Still no blocking, but I'll keep trying. But a federal judge told Donnie that he cannot block people on Twitter. So if you've been blocked by Donnie, uh-uh, baby, you're back in the game again. Why? Well, because Donnie is President Dick. He represents the people. And it's the First Amendment right for the people to cause regest to their government. To bring issues that they believe in. And Donnie can't control the language that how his constituents speak to him and tell him what we think. So Donnie has to unblock all those people at Donnie's block. So you won't be able to use that in your tagline anymore. Proudly blocked by Donnie. Oh, no, Donnie's going to have to take you back. Because Donnie, uh, Donnie's interested in your opinion. Yeah, that's what it is. That's the ticket. He wants to hear from you. No. The judge told him, you want to play government? You want to play president? Well, then you got to take everything, asshole. It's our First Amendment right to, uh, to uh, wasp right there near the lens. It's your right to tell him what you think, and uh, and I'm going to continue to do that. Two other little stories I want to touch on. Touch on. Y'all, uh, y'all seen me or heard me the other day speak about that traffic. I mean that traffic stop up in Houston where the officer got on his PA system in the car and told the occupants, a black woman, to get out of the car and pretend like I'm going to shoot you. That's a clear signal to the lady in the car, be damn careful, don't move, I will pull the trigger and drop you dead. That's what the message I would hear if I was in that car. Because they want you to be very, very afraid. Well, Kansas, Cowley County, Kansas. Little town of Winfield. Mama showed me this video, I think it was two days ago. And I said, are you shitting me? And it shows a traffic stop. A black man, Rudy Samuel, he's 31 years old, got stopped. The police said he failed to give a signal within 100 feet of a turn. So we stopped him. And give me that driver's license, the insurance, all that. Give me all that stuff. Give me your papers. Give me the papers. So they checked him out. Nothing, baby. Nothing. Clean as a whistle. Does he let him go at that point? Oh, no, 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 baby. Are you shitting me? This is why that movement started. Oh, no. Cop says, two and a half minutes into the video, the cop says, well, you know, uh, one of the reasons I stopped here is I noticed this vegetation on your window seal. You know, the window seal, a little rubber window seal in your car when you roll down that window? Nobody does this anymore. Are you shitting me? It's a button. There was some, I, around here it would be little mesquite leaves. And I've had them in my truck plenty of time when I close the damn door around the trees. And the trees stuck in that and I drive off there's little pieces of, of mesquite limbs, leaves that are very small, green. Oh, well that's some vegetation there, buddy, right there on your windowsill. I believe that's pot. I believe that's drugs. Get out of the car. We're going to search you. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? That's why it matters. Vegetation? Vegetation? Are you shitting me? If you got a bush on your bumper, you're going to get pulled over because it might be pot? Is that these assholes? 
they weren't, they, 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 they knew that they searched the car. You know what they found? Nothing. They let him go. What? After 30, 45 minutes, an hour, out there searching his vehicle, out in public to embarrass the shit out of him so everybody that drives by can go, oh, look, there's another one of them black guys. He must have drugs. They're searching his... That's how that shit works. That's how that crap, that, that disgusting racial shit gets advanced sometimes in our police departments. That's how come Black Lives Matter was formed. Because of assholes like this guy. Yeah, the guy was clean. He's, he's engaged to be married. He's got a job. His grandfather is a preacher. He's he never had any dealings with the law, but that's not enough for these asshole two white cops who thought, no, he's black. He's got to have drugs in his car. Oh, look, there's a leaf right there. That could be some kind of hint towards marijuana. Get out of the car. We're going to search you. That's bullshit. That's racial profiling, and I believe that's what the district attorney of that county said of the video. That's blatant racial profiling. Oh, he's black. He must have committed a crime. He can't be an outstanding citizen just like everybody else around him. No, that cop thinks he's a criminal, and I've got to do everything I can to prove it. He'll do anything he can to prove. Not look. He already looked. He looked at the driver's license. Everything checked out. Any record? No. Has he been arrested? No. That wasn't enough for that cop. That's not enough. Yeah, that pisses me off because it just shows racism at its, its ugly core and at the worst place that you could put it in the man that is supposed to protect and serve. I have said it before. I'll start bad mouthing cops when I start seeing good cops point out the bad cop and say, that guy is a problem. Because that's what has to happen. I don't know if y'all seen the other one. The other little video out there spoke, spot, spoke, spot, spot, spot. Getting around up in Montana. Yep. Border Patrol agents. Two ladies at the store. Speaking Spanish. Are you shitting me? Oh, my God. They were speaking Spanish. Come here. Let me see your ID. Give me your papers. Give me your papers. To prove you're an American. Are you shitting me? Do you know how many people speak Spanish in this country, you idiot? detained him and checked him out for over 30 minutes. The lady's saying they want to go home. They're tired of this. They ask him every question. Oh, well, we got to check you out here. You know, he can't be speaking Spanish up here in Montana, and that's bullshit. That is bullshit, isn't it, Tom Walls? Tom Walls is up there. I don't think Tom would get upset at anybody for speaking any language. What about Native American? Holy shit, call the law. Yeah. Racism. You know, if somebody's committing a crime, you should stop that. You should say something. Speaking Spanish is not a crime. As a matter of fact, I wish I could speak it. I wish I had learned when I was young. I didn't know how important it could be in my life. You know, most people in Europe, they, they speak several languages. My family in Switzerland speaks several different languages. The United States, speak American or you don't come here. Fucking idiots. That's what we deal with. That's the racist bullshit. We find it in our police departments. We find it in our border patrol. Are you shitting me? That's why we got to work, people. That's why we have work to do. Mucho trabajo. No little Spanish, baby. You can't live down here anywhere. You can't, you can't live down here without learning some, but I can't understand all of it, and I wish I did. You know what that means? Drive a little, save a lot. It's on every commercial down here. Why? Because there's a large Hispanic population out there that they want their business. Drive over here. Save a little pesos. So, yeah, you learn. Pico Tomas. You know, there's a lot of Spanish down here. There's a lot of Spanish in our own words. Rodeo. Let's go to the rodeo. 
Spanish, baby. It's all around you. And their food is delicious. I'm telling you. And you can't beat a margarita. I don't care what anybody says. Anyway, those are the reasons that we have to keep working on this. That's how come we have to elect progressive Democrats and people that are going to make a difference in this country, in my district, in my county, in my state, everything. And it's got to make a difference to all of us. We all have to toe that line. We want a culture change in this country. Toe the line, baby. Grab hold and start pulling for our side. All of us have to stand up. We didn't have the numbers last night. I was not impressed with the numbers that came out on the Democratic side in my district. We have to do better. We have to get everybody out. Eric Olguin has to win our district. I've seen the guy that's uh, running Braun or whatever his name. He's another whack job. We gotta build a wall over here and grab your guns. That's what the right does down here. It's Bible thumping, flag waving, grab your gun bullshit that they shove up everybody's ass down here. Whoa. Anyway, that's about all I got today, people. I gotta get this up online. I am sweating to death. Maybe let me get me a Got things working. Travis is going to be out here with me. As a matter of fact, he can be operating that secret cam. So when he's, you know, because there's spies around, you got to watch out. There could be spies anywhere. You know, spies looking right over your shoulders, seeing all your secret shit down there. Yeah. Travis thought it would be neat sometimes to be able to show that picture of what I'm doing in the back of my head, I guess. And uh, there's my board up here to try to keep me, keep me uh, focused. This uh, black TV flat panel back here. When uh, Travis will have the Mac, he'll be operating that over there. I will be able to see what I'm doing here on this flat screen. If everything works out right, if we get all of this hooked up right, then we'll have a we'll have some other different views. And I'm, I'm people that could come over and be guests could get on here with me and have the cameras set up so we could talk to people and try some of that out. Because whatever it takes to push this message, let me turn that out so y'all y'all are probably look, look at all the gray in the back of his head. Woo! Need a haircut, John. Anyway, we have work to do. Mucho trabajo. And we need to stay after it every day. That's why I'm out here as much as I can, people, to push this message to get everybody out to vote because we want our country back to normal again. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. John Brittavo of Blue Dot in Texas on YouTube. John Brittavo on Facebook. John Brittavo Speaks Blue Dot Family. My Blue Dot family, baby, I am so in love with them people. They are, we make a difference. And and we have members that are meeting. Uh, honest, two of our members met. I can't think right now. I'm so sorry, ladies. Uh, up in St. Louis. And uh, I was so proud to see that little picture of them two in the restaurant and, said, and made a Blue Dot connection. And, and that's what I've said before is the reaching out down there in those comments making a friend, talking to people, reaching out and, and, and contacting and connecting the dots. That's what I call it, connecting the dots, baby. Uh, that was the greatest thing I've seen in a long time that warmed my heart. Anyway, all that kind of mushy shit. Like, share, and subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, at Blue Dot in Texas on Twitter, out my truck window. Make your voice heard. Make your vote count, baby. Grab up a couple of people and take them with you. On that note, I'll let y'all go, and we will see you all on Friday.